manifesto shortly but uh, if you look at this is is a pretty bizarre relationship where the deputy president is in government and is not in government <laughs> so he's somehow fighting that government so he's very much aware of the issues that the government was dealing with and how the government proposed you know to sort them out and meanwhile Raila and the Azimio guys uh, are not in government and yet they're in government <laughs> through the handshake so again you know they they're very much aware of um, what the government was planning and, uh, and, 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 and the challenges the government was having, you know, in executing those plans and so on. So it's pretty interesting that actually is a continuum uh, with the Uhuru and the government at the center and Ruto then crossing over Uhuru a little bit, but not fully, and then Raila on the other side also crossing over Uhuru a little bit. And this, this, this comes to just what you're asking about, um, uh, you know, their manifestos. The, actually, the, the manifestos, if you look at them, and I've read all, both manifestos in detail, if you look at them, uh, you see that basically um, they're continuation of Jubilee manifestos with quite a bit of, um, with quite a bit of nuances. Um, sometimes, of course, not getting uh, you know, I into depth and so on. So, so, so I think it's just the packaging that uh, you see that uh, the manifestos deal quite well, you know, uh, they highlight and, and they deal, we have to give credit quite well with the basic things that affect Kenyans, you know, food security, issues around agriculture, issues around um, SMEs and uh, small scale manufacturing, uh, issues around uh, um, um, I, I don't uh, need to disrupt you, food but security and I'm so not on. sure whether that is right. Rilo Odinga I'm seeing. Our, yes, it is, isn't it? Arriving at the Kasarani Stadium, received by his supporters who've been waiting uh, pretty much the the larger part of the morning for his arrival. And Professor, are you? Am I understanding you correctly? Before you get back to right. the question of, of manifestos and it just being the Jubilee manifesto tweaked, right. uh, and you said <laughs> some with more detail than others, um, but. Are you expecting to hear anything new uh, from the campaign platform this afternoon, given this is the last chance they have to do so? Exactly. In fact, I, and that's what I was saying, that in fact, uh, um, we've been waiting for quite some time, uh, you know, for this, for this new idea, new big idea. And uh, we waited for it uh, uh, at the launch of the manifestos. We waited for that uh, at the presidential debates. We've wait, waited for that, uh, you know, uh, as, as you're building up to this uh, uh, concluding, I would call it the concluding uh, 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 presentation to Kenyans, and it's not been coming. <laughs> so, so, so um, I think uh, it'll be interesting whether whether anything new comes, and th that better that better produce something interesting, because even this late in the day, we still have a few undecided voters. <laughs> so, you think so? Yes, I, I still think so. For the first time, actually, I believe uh, there are quite a number of uh, th that particular youth uh, that group that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Some of those people are going to make up their decisions on Tuesday, <laughs> that late. Yeah, but, but very, very few, of course. I should think, they turn I, I, out to vote? Like should this? they turn out, uh, out to vote? There's quite a bit of confusion in central Kenya, and quite a number of people are, uh, are wondering which side you know, to actually support and so on. Yeah, so I think a strong concluding argument would be, would be the way to you know, first consolidate uh, your base, uh, you know, and, and then at the same time, you know, if you make some really serious rallying call, get that one additional vote <laughs> uh, you know, that, that, uh, that you may have actually uh, you, you know, lost. Uh, yeah, but, but, but on the other hand, like I was saying, I don't really see because, um, uh, I, and if you look at it, Olive, um, this has been about branding more than anything else. Um, where, yeah, we're talking about bottom up. If you look at it, it's more about branding because they're talking about the same thing as, as uh, uh, Azimio. And then if you look at Azimio, Azimio has the Azimio things. Azimio ya Wanawake, Azimio ya Vijana, okay. Azimio ya uh, Ugatuzi, right. and so on and so forth. Okay, so we'll get into that, but first let's just listen in. It's good to get a sense of the mood at right. Kasarani. So let's hear a little bit of what's being, uh, what's transpiring there.